Okay, so I've been using ChatGPT to help me self-study for months now. I'm not kidding when I say that this tool has completely revolutionized the way I approach learning. All of the shit that I used to struggle with before, like figuring out what to learn, creating a curriculum, and getting help on things I didn't completely understand, I can now easily solve with ChatGPT and a simple prompt. But like anything else, ChatGPT was not perfect and came with its own limitations. For example, you had to be careful using it for learning since it would sometimes give you incorrect answers to questions. You also couldn't get it to give you specific information or sources since it didn't have access to the internet. Well, that was until just a couple of days ago because OpenAI just announced that ChatGPT is getting a much anticipated feature, access to the internet. So on top of now being able to order food with ChatGPT, yeah. your learning process is about to get a major upgrade. So yeah, in this video, I'm going to share seven ways that you can use ChatGPT's web browsing abilities to become a super learner and enlarge your brain. To get started, let's take a look at how ChatGPT can now help you retrieve information for your studies. So now that ChatGPT has been blessed with access to the internet, you can quite literally get it to find any information that you want in a matter of minutes. For example, I recently decided that I want to learn more about politics, so I asked ChatGPT to link me 10 resources to become more informed on the topic and got a bunch of links that I could dive into and explore. And the coolest part is I could literally take any of the links ChatGPT sends me, paste it back into the chat and tell it to give me a summary to tell me more about it, or I could even ask questions about the content and basically start a conversation with ChatGPT to deepen my knowledge around the subject. Additionally, if you want to learn more about a subject in a specific format, like an essay or an article or blog, or even something like a documentary or a YouTube video, you just have to simply tell ChatGPT what format you want it in and it will give it to you. Okay, so the next way to use ChatGPT's web access is to use it to get better help on homework, assignments, or general questions or concepts that you don't understand. So instead of copying and pasting a problem into ChatGPT and praying that it will give you the right answer, you can now just get it to search the web for that specific problem and try and find one that already has the solution worked out, or you can simply ask it to find resources that will explain how to solve a similar problem or explain the concept. You can also be more specific in what you want and say something like, I'm struggling with my geography homework about tectonic plates. Can you find a resource that explains it with diagrams? And you'll get a result if it exists, of course, in the first place, specific to the prompt that you gave ChatGPT. So one way that I'm using this myself is to help me understand the books that I'm reading better. I'm currently reading through a lot of classic literature that sometimes makes my brain really confused, so I will just go to ChatGPT and ask it to provide me with some analysis and commentary on the books so I can understand it better and view it from multiple perspectives. Okay, so on the topic of books, let's move on to our next point, which is on how ChatGPT can now give you insanely personalized book recommendations. No matter what you're learning, or even if you're just looking for a book in a specific genre, ChatGPT can find the perfect book for you. Keep in mind that the more specific your prompt is, the more likely you are to get a better book recommendation. So the range of questions can vary from inquiries like, what are the most popular books to learn about Western philosophy? The more specific requests like, would you provide me with 10 books on philosophy written between the 1400s and 1800s, each containing over 300 pages. And voila, ChatGPT will give you several book recommendations that are going to be way more personalized than a simple Google search could ever hope to be. But anyway, enough about books. Let's move on to talking about how ChatGPT's web access can help you absorb and understand data. So imagine that you have a large data set and you're faced with the daunting task of making sense of it all. 
Let's take a classic example, analyzing annual rainfall across different cities. In this scenario, you can now simply turn to ChatGPT, paste a link to the data set and say, could you analyze this data set on annual rainfall across various cities and provide me with some valuable insights? And thanks to ChatGPT's ability to browse the internet, it can navigate the data, analyze the information, and distill it into concise, easy to understand insights. Okay, so getting to analyze data is extremely helpful, but I have to say that this next point, if I had access to this when I was still in school, would have completely changed my life. So to all of my students out there, you are going to absolutely love this point because ChatGPT, with its web access abilities is now a kick ass exam prep companion. No matter what you're studying, it can scour the web to find the most recent exam examples, sample papers, and preparation strategies. For instance, if you're studying for the SAT, you could say something like, what's the latest exam pattern for the SAT? Could you find some sample papers for me to practice? practice with. Even if you aren't a student, ChatGPT can still be super useful for providing you with material to help test your knowledge and help you get more practice in. Okay, so the next point that I'm going to talk about is going to be a complete game changer for all of my lifelong learners out there. And that is ChatGPT's ability to find online courses for you. I cannot tell you how annoying it was to find online courses prior to ChatGPT's access to the internet. Finding online courses that weren't going to cost me an arm and a leg was so incredibly time consuming and more times than not I would just end up empty handed anyway. But now no more. With ChatGPT and its ability to search the internet now, I can simply specify the subject, my required price range, and the quality or ratings I want, and get it to find all of the available courses within the criteria that I set. For instance, I could say, I'm interested in self-teaching myself political science, could you find several free, highly rated courses for me? And within moments, I've got several options to consider and choose from. Okay, so after you start a course or start studying something new, you generally do some research into the topic, which brings us into our next point, which is using ChatGPT's web access for academic research. You can now use ChatGPT to find the latest academic papers or scholarly articles on any subject. On top of that, I can also ask ChatGPT to help me find the latest research or developments in a field. Instead of spending hours trying to Google all of this myself, I can now just say, can you give me the latest research on ADHD for 2022? Or something like, can you find me the latest developments in the field of artificial intelligence? And ChatGPT will provide me with all of the latest news and research, allowing me to stay up to date with all of the relevant information. And yeah, that is basically it for the video. If you have any other methods for learning using ChatGPT's web browsing feature, then definitely let me know in the comments because I would love to try them out myself. Just remember though, even with ChatGPT's new superpower to browse the internet, always err on the side of caution with its responses and fact check its answers. You can never go wrong with just being a little extra careful. Anyway, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and consider joining my Discord if you want to join a community of other lifelong learners and AI enthusiasts. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Adios.